The widespread sell-off on Friday resulted in investors losing a whopping 9 lakh crore rupees. The Nifty 50 has been falling for the last five consecutive sessions. The index is now down over 8% from its all-time high of 26,277, which it hit on September 27th. On Friday, benchmark indices Sensex and Nifty fell by a percent each in intraday trade. The mid- and small-cap indices fell by 3%. During the session, Sensex made a low of 79,138, while Nifty 50 crashed 1.3% to the intraday low of 24,074. The overall market capitalization of the firms listed on the BSE declined to 435 lakh crore from nearly 444 lakh crore in the previous session, making investors poorer by 9 lakh crore rupees in a single day. Aggressive selling by foreign portfolio investors is said to be the primary reason behind the market crash. As per market data, FPIs have sold equities worth over 98,000 crore rupees in the month of October already. The reason behind that is said to be the cheaper valuation of Chinese markets. As a consequence, the FPIs are redirecting their funds to Chinese stocks. India Inc.'s September quarter earnings have been weak. This coupled with stretched valuations has led to big falls in the equity segment. Uncertainty surrounding the US election is also weighing on market sentiment. With US elections less than two weeks from now, investors are jittery. With uncertainty abound, the future policies of the US are also bearing on investors. The ongoing war between Israel, Hezbollah, Hamas and the Houthis has been influencing market sentiments as well. According to a Reuters report, Israel's military on Thursday said it killed a Hamas commander who took part in the October 7th attack on southern Israel. Meanwhile, media reports suggest US and Israeli authorities will meet in Doha to prepare for renewed talks on a Gaza ceasefire deal. The market is preparing itself for all kinds of possibilities. Experts point out that the market is still not at justified valuations, which is contributing to the sell-off. According to the trendline data, the current price to earning or P-E ratio of Nifty 50 is at 22.8. According to trendline data, the current price to earning or P-E ratio of Nifty 50 is at 22.8, which is above its one-year and two-year average P-E of 22.6 and 22.2 respectively. As per experts, despite the recent correction, buyers are still not comfortable in taking long positions.